Hi, we're back now. Uh, ten days ago, we finished up part one of this, and we had the beef hanging, and today we're going to take it down and cut it up. So join us. Okay, so we got everything set up here in the garage, and uh, I'd like to make everything accessible, but not have a lot on the table where I'm butchering. So the meat's obviously here. I've got a step ladder to pull that down and set it on the table. And then once it's on the table, I've got uh, access to my bone saw here. I've got a book about butchering and some pages that I review about where the cuts are and how to cut them and stuff because it's kind of complex and I haven't done a lot. I've got a uh, butcher kit here. This has extra knives and different tools that I use while I'm butchering. And on the table, I don't have a meat hook, so we actually use these to grip the meat instead of a meat hook. And it, it can help pull the meat away from the bone as you're trying to uh, debone. This is my cut glove. It's got stainless steel woven into it, so it prevents me from cutting myself. And then over here, again, I don't like the knives on the table because they can get knocked off and they can get dulled. So I basically keep them here on a magnet, and if I need a knife, I can go grab it, and then I've got my sharpening steel here. So let's head inside and show you what we've got inside. So you might remember this room from the lard video that we did a while ago. Same setup. We've got the table down here, a couple of cutting boards. We're going to be cutting up uh, the smaller bits of meat and the stuff that we debone for ground beef. We've got a grinder here. We actually have a second grinder up in the kitchen too if we need it, but I don't think we'll get that far behind. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention while I was out there in the garage is we managed to keep that garage between 34 and 37 degrees. Uh, the coldest it got was 32, and that was actually this morning because it was 9 degrees outside. The hottest it got was on a day it got up to 50, it got to 41 degrees. But most of the time it was between 34 and 37, which is ideal. Most of the other adults are out there starting to prepare the meat for cutting. So I am in here preparing the inside where we're going to be doing the wrapping upstairs. So the first thing we're doing is just cutting paper. Um, I'm hoping to cut about 50 sheets to get us started. And that will give my arm a break and I'll come back out later and do some more. This is a standard butcher paper. It has paper on the outside and kind of a wax liner on the inside. So it's made for storing in the freezer and trying to get as much of an airtight seal as you can to prevent uh, freezer burn. We're upstairs here in the kitchen and dining room area. This is where we're actually going to do the packaging. So as you've seen, we've got three stations. The, the guys out in the garage doing the meat cutting. We've got the guys in the basement doing the grinding and um, finish cutting. And then the meat comes up here where we have, of course, the uh, very important, can't be forgotten coffee bar for those who do drink coffee. That does not include me. Um, and then they bring the meat to me where I will set it here on the wrapping table. We've got butcher paper, which, uh, like I mentioned earlier, is paper on one side and wax lined on the other to help protect from um, freezer burn. We've got freezer tape and a nice clean table. So let's get going. We may not have the prettiest finished cuts, but you know what? It all tastes the same. One of the great things about doing this at home is the fact it really complements a homeschool family, or, or really any kids, um, because we get to practice math skills, writing skills. We'll often put one of our younger children in charge of the weighing and the writing, because it's a simple job, 
but like in her case, she needs a lot of work on rounding numbers. So this is a great way to practice that. Um, so it kind of benefits more than just making food. Say hi. What are you working on, Aiden? Uh, the uh, legs. Is it removing meat off of it? Yeah. How about you, Nathan? Grinding. Looks like you got the easy job. Yeah. <laughs> This is not from today's beef. We're actually um, eating from last year's beef, but we've got to take a break, relax, clean up, and then we'll get back to it right after lunch. We're on the hind quarter now, and we just cut in front of the eighth bone, which is a pelvis, and we've got our steaks over here and our rump roasts over here. So we'll keep on moving, see what we can do. All right, now let's go back to here. Sean, if you want to come over here. There is a stifle joint. Okay, so this is the leg, and there is a big stifle. It's basically a big, but what? No, I was talking to him, not you. You said to come over here. <laughs> I thought that's what I meant to. <laughs> Sorry, JR, you go over there. And then. I need uh, raspberry beret over here. You you said Sean, if you want to come over here. I'm being obedient. Okay. all of our steaks, sirloins, porterhouse, T-bones, and, uh, and club steaks. We got the uh, filet out, and they are working on, she's working on a ribeye roast, and we'll just keep rolling. I may never win any awards for wrapping jobs around here, but it sure is kind of a nice feeling when you get it all done at the end of the day. Well, as you can probably tell, this video wasn't necessarily how to butcher a cow. There's plenty of videos online and books you can read to determine how to do things, and we're not the experts. But the first animal butcher I did was with a bunch of friends out in Colorado. We went and butchered a pig, several pigs actually, and I learned a lot and had a great time. 
This is the way animals used to be butchered. Families would get together and butcher them together. Now the meat packing isn't perfect and the cuts aren't perfect like it would be at a professional butcher, but it was a good time. And we just hope this video will encourage you to take a chance, go out and do something you've never done. And guess what? We've provided food for our family. And that's what it's all about. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's content. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And if you have, tell a friend, hit the like button, and leave a comment. We really like those comments. Otherwise, we'll see you back next time here at A Different Way. Cheers.